Well, beginning the bulletin with our top focus at 6 p.m. Former Union Minister and Congress MP Shashi Tharoor has arrived in Delhi after a short stay in the Kochi. Tharoor landed at the Indira Gandhi International Airport just a few hours back amid speculation that he could be questioned by Delhi police. This is in relation to the murder of his late wife, Sunanda Pushkar. There is no news of uh, when the Delhi police is likely to question him. But the cops have made it clear that everyone linked in the case will once again be questioned. As headlines today broke yesterday, cops are ready with a questionnaire to probe Sashi Tharoor. They caught up with Shashi Tharoor during his layover in Mumbai. Headlines today is Rohini Swami caught up with Shashi Tharoor at the Mumbai airport while he was on his way to Delhi. We asked him questions about the case, but Tharoor remained tight lipped, refusing to reveal absolutely anything. According to reports, he could be questioned in his wife's murder case by the Delhi police in the next few days. Shashi Tharoor and we asked him a direct question whether he was unhappy with the investigations. Shashi Tharoor decided to remain mum and this has been his stand throughout. He said he would not say anything more but the fact that he will cooperate with the Delhi police. He's also written a letter to the Delhi police commissioner seeking questions, answers to questions. One is that on what basis the Delhi police have decided that Sunanda Pushkar's death was murder or was due to poisoning and the second point that he's also raising is why should the visera should be sent to another country uh, for investigations there are questions that he's raised in that email he's also expecting answers from them Shashi Tharoor when he reaches Delhi definitely he'll be a part of the investigation the Delhi police would like to talk to him and get more details he has given his uh, statement earlier also but with this new development and him landing in Delhi Delhi police now will be able to question him directly and also find answers to certain queries that they have. Another point that Shashi Tharoor also has been raised, uh, raising is that the Delhi police have not been sharing too much information with him. He's expecting that also in terms of the details of the investigation to be shared with Shashi Tharoor. With Kamran Prashant, Rudy Swami in Mumbai, Fight Lines today. Sources have also informed uh, Headlines Today that Delhi Police is ready with a questionnaire for Sashi Tharoor. Headlines Today has meanwhile accessed his statement given to police on 17th of January last year after his wife's death. In this statement, Sashi Tharoor had told Delhi Police that he had, a, had an argument with his wife Sunanda Pushka but claims they had managed to resolve their differences and she was calm and happy. <coughs> I beg your pardon, Tharoor had also told the Delhi Police Sunanda hadn't eaten for two days and he fed her cream and mushroom soup on 16th of January 2014 around the lunchtime. In his statement, Theru said when he reached the hotel suite after work, he went on to check on Sunanda only to discover that her body was unnaturally still and had turned cold. Shashi Tharoor uh, may have to answer some uncomfortable questions uh, in front of the Delhi police headlines today has been informed by sources that an exhaustive questionnaire has been prepared for him. Atir Khan reports. In the light of the fresh revelations that have led the Delhi police to file a murder case in the Sunanda Pushka death mystery, the question of her husband Shashi Tharoor being questioned is not if but when. The Delhi police believe that the Congress MP could answer questions that contradict the suicide theory. You are not going to get me to add anything more. Please ask the police any questions you want to ask. And if you all believe you know a murderer, please go and convey the details to the police. The questions he is likely to be asked to explain are a crescentic pattern abrasion mark on the left hand. According to the Ames autopsy report, her left hand had a reddish contusion mark indicating that somebody may have bitten her hand during a scuffle. 
There are several other injury marks on her right arm. Shashi Tharoor will also be asked whether he had any knowledge of his wife getting into a scuffle with anybody in the recent time. If there is any bite mark present over dorsum of the hand, a mould should have been taken by the uh, autopsy surgeon so that in future, the, if the suspect is at all found, the Im dental impressions of that suspect would be tailored with this, these impressions which have been mentioned. Tharoor will also be questioned about an injection mark which is injury mark number 10 mentioned in the autopsy report. The report says this mark is a blue coloured contusion on the right hand. In this connection, the Delhi police will also ask whether she hurt her right wrist while she was admitted to the Kerala Institute of Medical Sciences a few days before her death. Whether uh, she was ever admitted just before the death, three, four days before the death or five, six days before the death, in that case, it is now mandatory in every hospital for admission that an IV liner is put up over dorsum of the hand. So that uh, mark associate uh, appears to be associated with injection mark. Besides these questions, Tharoor will also be questioned about the nature of his relationship with his wife, on whether Sunanda could have gained access to any poisonous substances, about Pakistani journalist Meher Tarar's Twitter spat with Sunanda, the IPL angle and about the new names which have been revealed in the questioning of a domestic help Narain Singh. Sources say Delhi police is planning to quiz Shashi Tharoor at length. Other than his differences with Sunanda Pushkar days before her death, he will also be quizzed to find out who had bitten her and how come there were injection marks on her hands. And if Shashi Tharoor has answers to these questions, it will go a long way in unraveling the mystery. With camera person Yogendra Atar Khan in Delhi for headlines today. A lot of uh, unanswered questions there. Let me go across to my uh, colleague, uh, Deputy Editor Ashar uh, Ahmed Khan, who is joining us uh, live from outside Shashi Tharoor's residence in the national capital. Uh, Ashar, uh, you have been camping outside his residence. What is the activity? We have been hearing that uh, he is consulting his legal team as far uh, as the questioning of Delhi police is concerned. Well, uh, his staff is pretty much uh, present here, his researchers apparently what we've been given to understand is that uh, some sort of lawyers are also around but there's no confirmation uh, so to speak. But yes, what we've been picking up from uh, the camp of Shashi Tharu that uh, some lawyers are being consulted, some senior lawyers are being consulted. Also, uh, they're, they're trying to work out as to how to go about uh, the current situation in which Shashi Tharu finds himself in. Asha, very quickly also, uh, you know, the Congress party so far has kept a very safe distance as far as this entire controversy is concerned. Uh, even the noises that are coming out from the Congress party only saying it's a personal matter of Shashi Tharoor. How do you see the party uh, as, as far as the Congress party playing it up in the next few days? Well, uh, we've seen that in the last couple of days, the party uh, has certainly been supportive of Shashi Tharoor because uh, there is no direct evidence which has come out in the public domain as far as uh, Tharoor himself is concerned. So what the, uh, uh, the the policy of the party at the moment is to wait and watch and see how things pan themselves out. And then only if something incriminating comes out or if there is some serious indictment of uh, Shashi Tharoor, then only the party will take a decision.